joining trot is broad best of 76 his best is required by england at this stage this is going to be tough facing a bowler in great form and rhythm and he's off the mark straight away no is the call only one it's the other way around it's a lovely drive to the offside the shot that uh, they wanted brought to play but with a dive stops the ball does well he's got a good arm the throw is at the keeper's end and misses the stumps Shots in this over get through the field until that one could well get three as it runs away from Salman but stick with two. Get it! Oh! It was the cry. Wait to see what the umpire gives here. Didn't hear anything? Yeah, he gives runs, so it was off the edge of the bat. Seventy-four for seven. Just a little bit of glove as it went past. Must have hit something to balloon up like that. Yeah, just a, a top edge sweep. Ah! Oh, he's hit it well. Just for a moment, I thought he'd pick the man out. And he's hit it really well. He took his eyes off the ball, which made me think that he top edged it. Whether he top edged it or not, it's gone for six. Well, it wasn't a control shot. There were two men out, and that's why the wry smile surprised him. And for a second, he's worried. Looks at that man out. Proud not too worried. There you go. Nowhere near the edge. Before. <laughs> yep. Diaz cuts it off, just the two. It's over mid wicket. 50 for Broad, well played. Taking the aerial route, the reading the deuce shot quite nicely. The weight went over mid wicket for a four. Over the top. Someone said to catch it. Now it's gone. Record partnership. England's eighth wicket against Pakistan. Well, this is a pretty good first inning score, and it's not finished yet. That's hit, hit very hard. I'm going to go all the way. Short, wide, and four. Right on top of that, Stuart Broad, the tall man. So not difficult for him to get on top of it, punch it through the offside. Batting becoming a bit easier now. Doing wrong with that shot. Over pitch. Short one was dealt with. Oh, probably has been dealt with. And if it's in between, he's not afraid to go over the top. Short fine leg. Runs, that's a surprise. I thought uh, that had come off Stuart Broad's pad, but clearly off the bat. Takes uh, Broad to a landmark. 1,000 runs, 1,002 to be precise. 32 matches. Really good shot. I think it was the Doosra, and he just hit it on length as well. Cross batted it using the bounce that the Doosra brings. 
Well, he certainly played it as though he'd picked it. Edged. Between Slip and Gully for... Good delivery. Just to work it inside. There's a man out for the hook. Now at deep square point. There's no third slip with the second new ball. There he goes. Does he get over mid off? Yes. Clugs. Tucked away. In front of square. Doesn't go for a boundary, but Broad doesn't mind at all. What a way to go to your Test 100. What a place to get your first Test 100. The home of cricket. Well played, Stuart Broad. Big, big moment. Soak it in, enjoy it. Wonderful, wonderful moment. A few deep breaths. The good thing is he's not on strike now. So he can just enjoy the moment and on strike his end. Which he richly deserves. Just gather himself. What a shot. That brings up the 200 partnership between these two. Wonderfully struck and he enjoyed it as well. was a good shot just a punch great piece of timing and yes hands were shaken that was well timed and also well placed Mohamed Asif doing the chasing get three comfortably Never looked like a tail ender there during this inning. Stuart Broad went out there and thought like a batsman, worked like a batsman. Edge dump. That could be four runs. Right past the first slip fielder. That flew past Golly. He's taking the attack to the bowler very early in the piece. Saw the width, went after it, just a slip and a gully. In fact, two slips and a gully in place. So that field at gully was avoided quite nicely. Fine, fine shot. He played one yesterday through mid on, which I thought was excellent, but this is as good. Just a little bit of width, he's just gone through the line. Well, the captain has plonked himself in front of the non striking batter. Salmon Butt is in a silly mid off position, and that's flown past him. Rowing back 150, Stuart Rowe. Great way to bring it up. A couple of cracking shots in the last couple of overs. One through mid off. That one's more extra cover. It goes on to 150. Don't they love it, the crowd? Well, he's setting his own standards here, Stuart Broad. Raw talent when he came into the team, but this is a assured innings. Some lovely shots. There he goes again. Nice, juicy half volley. 400, it's a stats fest.
didn't bowl for an hour and a half yesterday afternoon. Delicately uh, turned away on the onside. He all do looks very quick today. That's enough. Yeah, Andy. Much quicker today. That breaks the record. It beats Muhammad Yusuf as well. Runs away to the boundary. So, a new world record is set by Jonathan Trott and Stuart Broad for the eighth wicket. Previous best, as we just mentioned, by Zim Akram and Siklain Wustak against Zimbabwe in 1996. Another one hit on the up, another one just waved through by Mohamed Youssef. That's uh, up the hill towards the grandstand as well. And uh, Mohamed Amir can't get round. He's tired legs, I think, there. His father. A very, very good opening batsman for England, Chris. His highest test score was 162. So Stuart Broad has beaten his dad. He'll be on the phone again.